welcome back to Flourish Field and uh, in today's video we are going to improve on um, the design we've just made okay as you can see our game is ready to be programmed but I want, I want to tell you something uh, one good thing about this channel is we are not going to come to you in a way that you would look at the tutorials and then you'll be like I'm lost I want to show you how to solve problems you know creating stuff so I'm going to be showing you what programmers go through that is to say the process of you know decision making just like I said in the previous video and you are going to see how we struggle with code so I'm not coming out to be perfect right now I'm coming out to see how we struggle with code how we try how we're trying to solve the problem so we are using this process so that you can actually know how a programmer thinks using all the concept that we have learned that is the conditional statements the variables the loops and everything all right now in this video i am going to solve a problem whereby when we click on this button the two dice will roll and after the roll the scores is being kept in this variable now let's get started without wasting too much time so the first thing we need to do is when i click this button i need these two guys to respond am i correct all right, so what I do is before the state of our program is when I click on this it rolls I don't want that again so I need to change the event so event is what controls our code it, according to what I said in previous video I said events makes our code work or makes our code run so I come to this one right here you know remember this is um, an event or this is a sprite so I come to event and I said when this sprite is clicked I just want you to follow along with me I would advise that you follow through to the end okay and I'm very sure you are going to appreciate this video the more because of the way and the um, approach that I'm using it's a, it's a very um, unique approach you can't find this kind of approach anywhere on YouTube so I would advise you to stick with me while we solve this problem it's gonna do you a lot of good in your programming journey okay all right so now when this flag is clicked oh sorry when this flight is clicked so what this means is when I click on this flag what action do I need from this flag I want these two guys to roll is that not so so for me to do that because I am presently on another sprite there comes another concept I need to implement the concept called what broadcast so I will come to broadcast and I'll say this is what I want to do broadcast and say roll dice but this time around I'll say roll die one roll dice in fact not die one roll dice and then click on ok now what this would do is that when I click on this flag when I click on this sprite, it's going to project a broadcast saying roll dice. Okay, but now, which if we want this um, sprite to catch that roll dice, instead of we saying now when um, when sprite is clicked, we are not using that again. We are going to use what when I receive roll dice you see that I hope you're following what I'm doing right now I hope you're breaking it down okay let's start again I said when I click on this flag what do I want my program to do I want um, the button to project a broadcast called what roll dice now that's a concept and I'm showing you how to use it right now by you know clicking on this one and then letting this sprite catch that roll dice can you see that so I can do the same for the second die also by using what the same event which is what when I receive roll die all right so now let's check and see how far that has gone so okay so let's make it bigger oh no there's no need for us to make it bigger let's just see how it works so when I click on this can you see it's rows now it's looking more like our project I hope you get that if you do not understand how we got how these road eyes 
uh, how these guys were rolling i need you to check on the link above so that you can see how we actually did the rolling of the dice okay okay that's i think that's the first um section of our videos all right now so i needed to pause this video right now i needed to pause the video right now and do the same for button two for player two but in this case now i will just give you a tip you need to create another broadcast so that there won't be you know conflict of um events all right so let's see how it goes pause the video right now and then get back to this tutorial all right welcome back now if you did it like this so when you click on this now you go again the same way when sprite is clicked now what do we want to do we want to project in fact we can still broadcast road eyes yes we can in fact there's no even need to create another road eyes it's just an event okay but really if we project can you see the torso i'm talking about now i am already thinking about it it's not like i said i'm coming to you perfect perfectly all right now let me show you the problem i'm going to have if i use um road eyes and then i i use road eyes so that is to say when i click on the two the dice will be rolling and it's it's not certain like that it's not what we want so i need to broadcast a new message that would wait for that event for that button two which is what you could call it row dice two that is row dice for player two and then you click on okay so that it has its own special event all right so now this is row dice two now you could now come back to this again now this is for event one you i'll I'll show you why this is you know very important it is for our calculation actually so you come again and say when i receive row dice two it's still the same function actually it's just that so then you copy you duplicate this function and then you add it to this it's still the same thing it's just that we are so i go again when i received i2 and then i duplicate this all right so that's it so now we've been able to you know control our button in such a way that our dice will roll all right so this event would actually help us in something in the future i would, I would let you know later in the previous in the videos to come okay all right now let's check our code now when i click on this you can see that this is the part of the code that is working which is what six two and see that now let's click on player two also the both are working you see that but now click on the dice and see if it's going to roll it's not rolling again because we've been able to deal with that we've been able to connect our button with our dice i hope you get that but now like i said let's focus on the dice right now so now how do we keep the scores how do we keep the score for the dice all right so in this case um after we click on this button remember this is the part of the function this is the event that is being triggered can you see the yellow light now when you click on this one can you see the yellow highlight right there so it should show that this is the part that is dealing with player one this row dice all right this road is right here all right so how do we calculate um how do we calculate um the scores for the player one so it's simple now in this same that is after rolling we need to you know come back to variable and then you see what before we even do that we need to set our variable to zero whenever we click on the flag all right so how do we do that you just come to this place and then say when flag is clicked and then you convert it you set um you set player one to zero and then you set player two to zero so we don't have you know so that when that whenever we click on it it goes back to zero so now all we need to do now is to you know change 
player one. Now, what we are doing is after we roll the die, we need to change player one to what? What are we changing player one to? Now, in this case, now we have been switching from random one to six, but we do not have a variable to keep that score or that point because we need a variable to keep the point and then use that point in this variable so how do we do that now we want to improve on our code we create another variable now this time around we can call it um what should we call that variable should we call it random yeah random because it's a random number okay so random number or random all right so now we need to set after rolling the die but before rolling the dice we need to set random i hope you follow in place you need to set random to what pick from one to two so at every iteration all right so my time is up again um okay um i'm going to continue in the next video um i just hope you understand um the concept so far in the next video i'm going to look at how we can you know we're going to continue from where we are right now i hope you do understand what we have done so far and um please remember to subscribe and like and um, tell your friends about this lovely channel um i'll see you next time